Animal testing is usually considered controversial because of the suffering of the animals involved. But many scientists believe that its consequences for human health are equally controversial and deserve more attention. The thalidomide tragedy happened over 40 years ago. But what have we learned since then? Has science moved on? Can we be sure that a similar tragedy won't happen again? I think that there should be tests to identify such dangerous drugs and chemicals. But which tests are up to the job? It's important to remember that the pharmaceutical industry is developing drugs for use in, in, in humans. And for that reason, a focus on, on human biology, I, I believe, is very important. Predict toxicity, we can tell you the level at which it's going to be toxic, we can give you some indication of what you could be doing to make it less toxic, and we're doing it in a way that is very cheap, very fast. It takes 24 hours to do a cell culture. So this is something you can use right at the beginning of, for example, a drug development pipeline as a company, which will save enor an enormous amount of money and decrease the reliance on animal testing. Just as in the aircraft industry, you don't build an aircraft before simulating it on a computer, in the future people will not build new compounds, new drugs, new medical devices without simulating their actions on the various organs of the body. Now why is microdosing of interest? Well it's of interest because it allows us to get human metabolism information much earlier much more safely and with minimal use of animals. These new technologies enable drugs to be developed and tested specifically for humans. Yet there is still a vocal strand of opinion which insists that new treatments will only come from research involving animals and that it would be unethical to expose people to drugs without first showing that they are safe in animals. Many politicians are concerned about animal experimentation but believe there's a dilemma between protecting animal welfare and advancing medicine. Yet there is growing evidence that favouring the state-of-the-art methods we've seen in this film would benefit medical progress as well as laboratory animals. And all that uh, we want to see is the government to set up a review where these uh, arguments can be properly evaluated in a scientific way because quite apart from anything else, thousands of people suffer from the side effects of drugs and some of those ill effects might be averted by using better methods. And the government should now, in my opinion, make this a priority, because if they did that, then this argument could be settled in the best possible way for the benefit of everybody in concern.